Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Art Adventure. So today we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a car out of these connects. All right guys, so the first things that we need are these little, what I call snowflakes, they're the connectors. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this red connector and put this white rod, okay, just like that. I'm gonna take this first green, snap it down just like that. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and take these two little green rods and we're gonna put one in the far right and the far left available um, connections on this green snowflake. We're gonna take this white snowflake, which is pretty much um, uh, able to be connected all the way around, snap it right there in place on the green one. And then we're gonna go to the side of it and snap on that. So now that we have this uh, started, we're gonna go ahead and connect this yellow. You see how these two fit right inside of that connecting spot. Okay, so we're gonna snap those in. We're gonna take a white rod. We're gonna snap it into the top of this yellow piece and one to the right-hand side of this yellow piece. And then in that empty spot in the middle, we're gonna snap in this green piece. Once you're done doing that, take your white snowflake you're gonna snap that into this green rod. And then you're gonna take this green piece and you are going to skip the first one and you're gonna connect it to the second one so that this is at a 90 degree angle with that rod. Inside of that little um, connecting area on the white and the green, put a green rod, snap that in place so it doesn't move or swivel. I'm gonna put two more green rods on this snowflake. You're gonna skip every other one, so it's one on each four corners. I'm gonna take a white rod, and you're gonna snap it into place up on this green piece, and then you're gonna take your yellow and snap it into the white and the green on the top. Now, since you have this yellow one, you're gonna go ahead and take the green one and do the exact same thing that you did here, but with this green piece here, so now we start getting a little bit more of a curve. Take our last white piece, snap it into that white snowflake, take our last yellow connector, snap it there, and now you have two pieces that need green rods to connect and secure those positions so they don't roll around, so they don't spin in place. You notice they all can spin but I can't spin the ones that are connected by multiple rods. So that's what all those little green ones are there for. All right, and to finish up this last piece, we're gonna go ahead and put a little green connector rod there. We're gonna put a white connector rod up on the top of this, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish each of these two rods off with this blue or purple end cap is what I call it. It's like this little hoop you can uh, make some spinning pieces with, um, but we're gonna go ahead and do those two there. Once you guys are done with this piece, we're gonna go ahead and make a second one just like this. Um, so I'm gonna speed through and uh, I'll let you guys catch up um, as you wish. All right guys, so now we have our two uh, pieces that are identical in shape and size. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually assemble it because this is gonna be one side panel and one side panel. And then we're gonna connect through the middle um, at our axles and be done with it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and build our axle. We're gonna need a yellow um, stick or rod. We're gonna take these two little um, pieces here, kind of look like end caps, and you can use them as end caps, but we're gonna snap it onto the side here to where it can slide across. And we're gonna do two of those in the same side, but facing different directions. So we have one stick coming out this way, one stick coming out this way. And we're gonna push them to the middle right now because we're not gonna need them um, in this spot, but we're gonna need some extra space here before we get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our side panel and we're gonna slide that in the back. So you have this red piece, that's gonna be the rear of um, your car. And we're gonna slide this yellow piece into, uh, into the white snowflake where this tan piece 
fits. And now you see if I'm trying to rotate it, since that rod is here in that little slit, it's not gonna rotate, okay? So that's what those are there for. We're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side, slide that in. So now you have a base. It's not gonna stick out this much. Um, we're gonna use some spacers, okay? And this is just gonna help those wheels slide and not get um, as much friction. We're gonna do one on each side. And then we're gonna take one of these big wheels and we're gonna snap it onto your um, yellow axle. And that's gonna be the rear of your um, uh, car, okay? Push it out. So now you have your rolling wheels and it's pushed out as much as it can be. Okay, so now you have the actual base. We're gonna go ahead and do another axle the exact same way, but instead we're gonna go ahead and put it through these two purple pieces and we're gonna add these two little wheels instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, sped up for you and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so now that we have our car, we're gonna go ahead and start giving it some structure. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a yellow snowflake, um, put a white rod through it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that piece, and I'm gonna go straight through the hole of this green piece, and we're gonna stick another one through this green hole, and then connect that facing down so the flat part is up here. Now see this kind of moves around a little bit, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these little end caps, very similar to these, they're just a lot shorter, okay? And we're just gonna snap them on right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing, and we're gonna put it through each of one of these two yellow holes, and then same thing through each one of these two yellow holes. So I'll speed this up and uh, get these pieces done for you. All right, so now I have those three yellow pieces. If I wanted to flip them like this to show you guys um, that they're gonna be our um, kind of brace. So this walls, these two walls don't cave in. I can actually pinch it and it's not gonna move. Um, and then these holders kind of keep it from swiveling a little bit. We're gonna do a very similar one. I'm gonna take a yellow piece white rod and we're gonna stick it through this um, red piece but we're not gonna do the whole we're actually going to take this and slide it here on the back part and then we're gonna snap it in sideways like that and then just to make it look a little bit better add some black end caps and then we're gonna go ahead and take this part and flip it up, almost like if it's like the back of a seat in a sense. Um, it's kind of like a tractor, okay? So it has the big wheels in the back, little wheels in the front, so on and so forth. Now the last thing we're gonna do is get the actual steering shaft um, up through um, the beginning uh, to the end. So we're gonna go ahead and take this yellow rod, we're gonna stick it through these two yellow pieces starting from the front, going to the back. To stop that from going through all the way, we're gonna add another black cap like we did here to here. Just like that. So now that we have this entire thing done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with these two holes and then we're gonna stick a um, steering shaft through the middle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a yellow rod you're going to put a black end cap on it and then you're going to snap it in sideways like this and then also on this back side and what that's going to do is hold everything in place and then on the back side of this we're going to stick a green snowflake here and now it's facing up to 
take a white rod like that. Push that up and the final piece to finish it off is the steering wheel, which is actually another wheel. And we're gonna snap it onto that white piece right there. And there you go, there you have it. You have built yourself a car or a tractor out of connects. Uh, this was a fun one. This is pretty detailed, but um, there's uh, much more detailed ones that I'll see if I can get to you guys um, as soon as possible. So I'll get some more tutorials out to you guys. Um, some easy ones, some, some intermediate ones, and uh, some more difficult ones. But if you like this, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a like, leave a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment uh, down below if you have any uh, questions or any suggestions you'd like for me to build. And uh, I'll see if I can get those to you as soon as possible. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, I'm out. Peace.